Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to split a page in half. Now, it's something I've been asked to demonstrate, but I don't know the purpose of why somebody needs to split the page in half. So what I'm going to do is to show you three different ways you can do it. And then hopefully one of those ways will help you to complete your project. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the Insert tab and I'm going to go down to Table, click on the drop down and I'm just going to insert two rows. Now once those rows are in, I'm going to hover my cursor over the bottom line, click and drag it all the way down to the bottom. Now what will happen is as you click and drag, the page below will appear. So drag it down till it appears and then slowly move the line up until it disappears and then take your cursor off. Once you've done that, you'll know that this line is at the very bottom of your page without going into the margins. Then you need to highlight your table, go up to layout. If these two tabs don't appear, it's because you haven't highlighted your table. So if I just check off the table, you'll see that those two tabs have disappeared. If I highlight my table by either clicking on this upper left square or by clicking and dragging to highlight my table, those tabs will now appear. The next thing I need to do is to go along to this icon here that says distribute rows and just click. That will send your central cell line to the middle of your document. So effectively, you've now split your page in half. You can now go ahead and type in these two boxes, and you can also take away those grid lines, all those borders. And the simple way to do that, again, is to highlight the table, go up to table design, and then go along to borders, and then just go down and select no borders. And as you can see, those borders will disappear and any content that you put in those cells will remain. Now, of course, you can do this whether your page is landscape or portrait. It will work in exactly the same way. So the next thing to do is to split it so that effectively you can use the whole of the page, both top and bottom. So again, I'm going up to insert, go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Now you just need to go up to the top left corner and just click and drag. Now the reason I kept the table here is because it's really useful to use that central line as a guide to split your page in half. Just take your mouse off and you'll see therefore that you have this text box with a border. The text box will come with a white background as well, it won't be transparent which is why it's gone over the top of the table and you can't see the table underneath. Now what this will enable to you is to just begin typing wherever you want in that text box and of course you can move text boxes around anywhere you want in your document. You can also take the borders away from this and you can also expand the sides so they go outside your page so that you've got full use of that top area. So in order to get rid of the borders, if I just move this down slightly, in order to get rid of the borders, if you go to Shape Format, again, if this tab doesn't appear, it's because you haven't highlighted your text box. If I just click off it, you'll see that it disappears, and I've now got these two for the table. If I just delete everything, there you go. You can see the tabs now disappeared. If you highlight this text box, go up to Shape Format, and then go along to this icon here, it's a small box with a pencil in it, click on the drop down, and then just select No Outline. And then what that will allow you to do is to type any text or put anything in that text box, change the background colours, whatever you want, but it will allow you to use up the entire top of this page. In order to split this page in half and use both sections, you just need to copy and paste this text box. Now, of course, I'm just doing it to the edges here, but you can move this around and make exactly what you want, whether you want a margin around it or you don't. It's completely up to you. So what you need to do is just copy and paste. So go up to the Home tab, click the copy icon, click off the text box and then click paste. And then as you can see there's another text box down here. Now I've taken away the borders of this so I need to put them back on just to show you what's happened. So I've now got two text boxes, no, that hasn't worked. So now I've got two text boxes in my document and I can use both the top half and the bottom half to type whatever I want to and I can also move them around. 
So that's the second way to split a page in half. Now the third way is using columns. Now, now you can't really do that using portrait documents. So if I just go to layout, go to orientation, go down to landscape and change my page round. You can see that if I now type some random text and I want to actually split this page in half, I can do that using columns. So if I just highlight my text, Command or Control A, and then up to the layout tab, down to the columns icon, click on the drop down and just simply select two. And then what will happen if I just type out some more text? you can see now that your page has been split into two. So that's using columns. It's less versatile, depending on what you want to do, but if it's simple text, then this is perfect. If you want to be able to move text around or images or graphs, then text boxes are way more flexible, but they do sometimes jump around, so you do have to pin them down sometimes. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.